So far, we've been dealing with inequalities in two variables and only looking at one inequality. In this lesson, we actually shift over to looking at a system of inequalities. And this is going to be from day 24, a cool down called, oh good, another riddle. So in this lesson, we used two linear inequalities in two variables to represent the constraints in a situation. Each pair of inequalities forms a system of inequalities. A solution to the system of inequalities is any xy pair that makes both inequalities true or any pair of values that simultaneously meet both constraints in the situation. The solution to the system is often best represented by a region on a graph. So if you take a look at this right here, this is a good example of what I mean. We have two different inequalities graphed here. This one with this shaded region, and this one with this shaded region. Now remember, dashed line means points on the line are not solutions. Solid line would mean that points on that line are solutions. And then the shaded regions are the solutions to the inequalities. So if we're looking for an x and a y value that is a solution to both inequalities at the same time, well, over here, I have solutions to just this inequality. Over here, I have solutions to just this inequality. But down here is the sweet spot. That's where the two regions overlap each other. And that's where I'm going to find all of my solutions. So here's another riddle. The sum of two numbers is less than two. Sum means adding together and then less than two. It's exactly what it sounds like. Second, so that's one inequality that you're going to write. The next one, if we subtract the second from the first, the difference, the difference, so if we subtract the second number from the first, so if our two numbers are x and y, we would do x minus y. Well, the difference, that's this, is greater than 1. Exactly what it sounds like, greater than 1. It doesn't look nice, but whatever. So the riddle can be represented by a system of inequalities. Write an inequality for each statement. We just talked about that. These graphs represent the inequalities in the system. Which graph represents which inequality? Well, type them into Desmos and take a look and see which one is which. And then name a possible solution to the riddle. You're looking for an x and a y coordinate that make both inequalities true at the same time, which we've already talked about. If you have any questions, let me know.